Hey guys, what's up? It's Spencer from Flight Director, and I'm going to talk to you about how to use the active camera effect from New Blue Effects. This is a very useful effect for creating a little shaking effect with, um, in your videos. So without further ado, let's get started. Right here, we have a clip from my most recent video, um, and let's add some add the active camera effect to it. So you want to go to Media Effects, then go to Active Camera. Double click it, OK. All right, now here we have our settings. Personally, I like toning down these settings quite a bit. Um, I have a actually a preset setting. It's called spotting. Very low horizontal and vertical movement. This prevents way too much shaking and makes it much more realistic. A little rotation, a little crop in, which I will get to in a moment. Rate, that just says how fast it moves from these horizontal and vertical locations. Jitter. That's when it jumps up and down very quickly. Um, so you want to keep that at a minimum if it's not a like a landing. Like if you're landing immediately, then there's going to be a lot of jitter. But other than that, no. Hold, like it would be going left, hold, right, hold, like that, like what my mouse just did. Then blur, that just adds some blur effect to your video when it's moving around a lot. Okay. Now let's discuss the crop effect. This is something which people screw up a lot with this. So what you'll see a lot is you'll p see people tone up the horizontal and vertical quite a bit. Now if you see right now in the frame, it's very distorted right now. You can see black on the left. And this is going to be throughout the... It's just not very good. So. Now to fix that, you use the crop tool. And just like that, the black effect will not show up. So yeah, here we go. And as you can see, there is absolutely no black coming into the frame because we are cropped in so much. Um, so that's it for using the um, active camera effect. If you guys have any questions, don't, feel free to leave a comment below. Learn than that, this for Flight Director, this is Susan Spencer and I hope you learned something today.